Hello everyone, this is Shadowfury 33 with another Acorn FP VOD. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, with another FP VOD on a new map called Samak Valley. It's a map that's rather large, and I'll be showing off the features of the map in a couple seconds as soon as I actually get my initial base set up. So, uh, let's see here. So I just gotta get my resources set up, and then as soon as this fails. So once again, I'm playing back here, which is pretty much my main race at this point. And anyway, so as for the map, there's the main base of the map right here, which is the same for the bottom as well. And there's the natural is somewhat split up. There's four four LC crates and one QP crate, two QP crates on each side. And then there's essentially a third in the center with about four, well, as you can see, eight LC crates, three QP crates split up such that it's a little bit easier to access the Q-Plasma. And then Q-Plasma at the top and the very bottom. Okay, so at this point I'm going to be kind of going for a similar strategy to what I was doing before with a steamroll build, except this time I'm going to have to be a bit more careful to make sure that my opponent isn't building up where I'm not expecting him because that seemed to have been a problem last time. So, at this point, it's really just a matter of getting my resources and scouting them out. So I don't know what he's playing, but I'm assuming, being that Shalka, that he's playing CISO since he seems to play that a lot. And let's see, so the time wave has hit, and yes, he is in fact playing CISO, so I should probably be careful once again for air units and also for teleportation, because I did not really expect that coming, but it, he did use it. So, be a bit more careful about that, make sure that he's not too spread out around the map, because CISO can also do that very easily, it's spread out across the map. They build buildings wherever they want, and it's a lot easier for them to spread out than it is for Vekir. So at this point, I'm just going to continue build up and getting out some inventory, getting out some resource processors, and my Teth Fear is not doing too well, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like already Shalka has a factory for, bit forward from his position, and and I'm continuing to build up. I'm just going to build up my main base a bit more and then expand out. I'm going to expand out to the left side because that is where he's going for forward base, so it'll be a bit easier to directly address it. Have uh, more units next to it, make sure that it's, well, it'll be along the side I'm striving to protect, but anyway, we'll see how that works out. I'm not 100% confident about how that's going to work out, though, because I have I have noticed, like I said, that CISO is really good at spreading across the map, so it wouldn't be hard for them to get, get an advantageous position and be able to completely avoid my steamroll and then just hit me from behind like last time. So. At this point, I'm going to be just, like I said, continuing to build up and trying to avoid any particular problems with, well, like I said, with getting hit from behind or flanked or anything like that. Which is like I said, a bit of a problem, a bit of a hard thing to learn to avoid, but it is also a necessary skill because CISO is well, one of the races of the game and has that ability. It can really flank people out easily. So at this point, I'm just continuing to expand, set up my army, make sure that I have, like I said, make sure I have a strong army set up, and make sure I can get some vehicles going. But it looks like he's going to be actually he's going for attack on the right side. Yes, he is. He's going for a pretty early attack on the right side. So I should actually probably keep that in mind and set up some defenses over there once I get the chance. As soon as I actually get the resources to do it. Here we are, so I have the resources now, and I can set up... Okay, actually I can't set up as well as I could before, but it looks like I am going to attack on the right, which is actually a good thing that I went and expanded on the left, because at this point, I can actually defend more easily without having to worry about resource problems that getting hit in the process. So, right now, I'm just going to set up... And it looks like I actually got... Okay, good, I get, got my air units up fairly early, so I can also attack air, we can add some support, and to make sure that he's not actually doing anything tricky on this side either. I'm going to set my air units up just to start scouting a bit more, because I need to know what he's doing around the map. This is a rather wide map. You can see, like I said before, there's a lot that's rather very open. There's a lot of paths around the map, so it's really easy to just lose your opponent around the map and make it hard for them to find where you are. Especially for CISO, who, like I said, can really spread out. 
So at this point, just making sure that he's not doing anything. It looks like he is usually going to do something in the past and has actually attacked me. Sort of a sneaky attack. It looks like he's attacked my left flank as well. Actually, it looks like he might have undone. Yeah, he undid my right flank attack. So he's basically scouting on my flanks to see what I have in defenses. Actually, it looks like. Oh shit, he's got a cloak unit attacking now. Okay, this is. Yeah, it was one of the things with the CISO is that they have. Cloak, they get cloaked units very early on. The ATHC is a very powerful cloak unit. Unfortunately, units, when attacked by cloak units, tend to panic. Unfortunately, they don't know what to do or how to respond, so it can be really, really problematic when they actually have. when they get on the field, the cloak units, because it's so hard to actually do any damage or to get anywhere around them since they just tend to do a lot of damage. So it looks like. And, like I said, distract your units. Actually, it looks like... No, he hasn't actually undone his attack at all, so I'm getting attacked on many fronts here and gonna have a hard time dealing with it all. And my Shinbeer still hasn't been built up. Oh, no, never mind. There it is. Because my Shinbeer is built up, it, the ATHC is attacking, but... And this is... Okay, now it's be detected. The Lancer's coming in, and it's gonna try to stop me from really dealing any damage while harassing my, me as well. So... It looks like Shaka really has learned how to counter Vector, which is basically just to distract them and to attack them as much as possible. Try to keep them on their feet, keep them from ever getting a comfortable position. Because if Vector gets a comfortable position, it's really easy for them to start attacking, just to get going and deal a lot of damage. But if they don't have that comfortable position, it's hard for them to actually get out and about on the map. And from there, it becomes difficult to... Oh is that HHC still alive? Okay, so from there it becomes really difficult for them to actually deal any serious damage, and it looks like it looks like I'm in a really bad position. No, Zion Beard, you cannot attack that. Don't try. Okay, so the HHC is about to die, but the Zion Beard is also about to, or Zion Pulsar is also about to die it's because he's an idiot. Hopefully this, these Ted Searchers will be able to take care of business, however. So, just need to get them over to save my Zion Beard. And at this point, now I can start scouting around, try to make sure there's nothing fishy going on. Because, I, like I said, there's, he's been doing, Shaka has been doing a lot of stuff to distract me and a lot of stuff to mess me up. That's going to be very difficult for me to actually scout out and figure out what he's up to. And it looks like, at this point, which is a fair number of Marines is base, but he actually isn't doing anything much of that forward expansion. Probably pull back a bit at this point. So I see that he's doing now. I don't really need to know much more. I don't want to get my test. I do not want to get my test searchers knocked out because of that, and that would be a really problematic occurrence if it happened. So I need to avoid that. I also need to make sure that I do have. I think of it. I have a comms that I should be able, should be a bit better able to scout out the map. It looks like I have really no expansion at this point, and so I really just gotta try to get what I can. Now this one is really more about a prone energy than anything. But it looks like he has put another attack down. Doing some more damage. I'm not sure where exactly, but it looks like... Oh, never mind. I'm actually dealing more damage to him than he is to me. Except for this... Holy uh, piece of crap! Tethical... Damn, another tactical unit. Yes, I know I'm another tactical unit. Give me the Shin Beer! Where did I place that last one? For goodness sakes. I don't know. Unfortunately, it seems like this lit. Really, Shin Beer is my only big detector, and at this point, the ATHC can just go anywhere on the map, and I have really no idea where it's going to be. However, I do see that he is planning to attack with that Lancer up there, so my Tet Searchers are going to be able to go and finish that off. No problem. So, now that Lancer's gone, but it looks like another one's coming in to attack. Now that I have a full view of what's going on, I have an easier time taking care of these attackers, but it's getting very annoying. The amount of units going around to attack me. So it looks like my Shin is about to die, but I'm not sure. These ATHCs are getting on my nerves, though, because they are really it's coming up from all sides, and like I said, I have very few detectors, so it's... Yeah, now my Shin Beers just died, so I really have not much to deal with this. And I have no chrono energy to build up another Shin Beer. He's <sighs> attacking me all the time, everywhere. Okay, now I have more units. I can actually probably deal some damage, but I really don't know because they're everywhere. Stupid shin uh, my shin beer is taking forever to build. Why won't it build? Okay. <sighs> okay, I'll just scout out. Forget it. Just, you guys, just get out of there. 
So you can attack something else because at this point I cannot deal any extra damage to this and it's going to be incredibly annoying trying to deal with this crap because my opponent ha or Shaka is doing a really good job of basically doing a really good job of distracting me and stopping me from actually dealing any real damage and actually even getting an army up. At this point, I'm just trying to just try to harass because I, I don't have any expansions at this point. I'm actually quite behind in economy, and I really don't have any way of getting out of this unless I start dealing some damage to him. And he's doing, like I said, he's doing a really good job stopping me from doing anything, stopping me from getting any units up, and stopping me from really getting any, really dealing any damage to him on the whole. Especially since, as I mentioned before, the annex can only really build one infantry.